Is that fine? I think so. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I was going to talk to you guys about how I really am, how I'm feeling and how my recovery has been and how it is now. Um, and it is in the morning so I'm looking kind of rough so I thought I was going to do some skincare uh, at the same time I'm going to talk to you guys um, about how I really am. If you're new to my channel and if you don't know in general, I got surgery in my spine for scoliosis on the 5th of November. So when I'm filming this, it is more than six weeks ago. And it does not feel like it has already been six week, weeks because I just don't feel that great um, yet. Hopefully soon. But I have been saying that for like three weeks now. I'm going to put on my headband because we're going to wash my face. Or cleanse it at least. So beautiful. So yeah, I made a whole video on my back disease, my scoliosis and my story in general from when we discovered my scoliosis and up to the surgery. So in this video I'm just going to touch on the surgery and the story I have linked in the cards so you can go watch that because then this will make so much sense, <laughs> more sense at least. Going to wash my face with my cleanup cleansing foam from Placia. The surgery went so great, um, no complications or anything and it just went very very smoothly. It took between six to eight hours um, and my mom and my boyfriend waited at the hospital in the entire time. It was just helpful before going into surgery that I knew they were there. So, um, so I made the, my story a video on my scoliosis one or two weeks before the surgery, but it went up the day after I have had my surgery. I made it before because I knew I was going to be a mess, like a literal mess, up till the surgery. So I just wanted to pre-film uh, for the rest of November, uh, in most of October. So I had something up for you guys and I still had conversations with you guys that not necessarily involved um, my surgery or so my mind could go on something else. So I was a mess. I cried so much. I, I couldn't sleep and I was just worried about how it went but luckily there was nothing to worry about. I had one of the best doctors in Denmark. I was not worried about the surgery itself because I was in very safe hands but I was just scared. been in surgery once and that was to get my appendix removed in the summer and that went by a few hours so it didn't really matter. So I'm going to wash this off and this is hard as well because I can't crumb my back. And my mom made these small towels for me when uh, while I was uh, in the hospital and I love them. She knitted them. So beautiful. And she made one in pink as well. A lot of people that have had this surgery, they told me that you were going to feel like you were high on drugs um, in the first few days and you couldn't remember anything. Uh, but that's not true for my case. I, I remember everything and pretty clearly as well. So, um, And I didn't feel high or anything on medication. But I have two uh, bars and twelve, no, 20 screws into my spine. I will insert a picture. I have some footage from uh, the hospital that I will insert when I come to it. 
And my boyfriend actually vlogged a little bit. I think it's so cute that he wanted to vlog and talk a little bit about his experience. And yeah, he stayed with me the whole entire time. And he was just sitting in the chair and doing nothing. Can you believe it's six weeks since my surgery and I'm still crying? Oh my god. It's just real. This is real life. Um, so yeah. I got out of surgery and I woke up in like late afternoon on Monday the 5th and I didn't eat. I ate some but it came up again. And then I just didn't eat. We finally found out it was the morphine that I couldn't, um, I was kind of allergic to. So when we changed to a fake kind of morphine uh, on uh, Wednesday, two days after the surgery, I felt fine. My nauseas went away and it was amazing because I could kind of eat something. Not a lot, but I ate more. <laughs> so yeah, it was really, really great. And then, um, I don't know what it's called, but I had a catheter uh, for my... When I, uh, when I needed to pee, you know, <laughs> and uh, for medication into my bag, I had some catheter. I have no idea what catheter is. The first time I went up and walked, it was in this kind of um, chair. And I will have some footage to insert so you guys can see what I mean. But it was really, really amazing to get up and walk when you have laid down for like three days straight. So that was really amazing and and I was up and walking like one one or two times a day, one time I think uh, a day. It was slow but steady, steady progress and because I flew up that much I was one day more at the hospital than planned. Uh, so I went home the Monday after so I was in seven days compared to the regular six days or something. So I'm going in with a, a glow serum. Now, so I'm going to apply that. Mostly just lying in bed and ate what I really wanted because my taste buds, um, they were messed up. So I just ate what I wanted and what I could. And in the first week, uh, one and a half week, two weeks maybe, I lost like uh, 10 pounds, I think. If you talk beauty related, I didn't do any skincare for the first like three, maybe four weeks. Um, so it was just day cream in the morning because my skin was tired. And then I exfoliated because it was so rough because I didn't do anything about it. I didn't even uh, get dressed because I just, I didn't leave bed. Like 10 minutes of eating and then I needed to lay down again. And that uh, increased some week after week so now i uh, six week after i can sit up and do stuff and walk around and do laundry and do my skincare and i can actually put on makeup when i want to it has been so frustrating to lay in bed all the time and not being able to do something because my boyfriend he goes to work every single day except for uh, in the weekends but I, in, in the first month, I couldn't do laundry, I couldn't clean, uh, there, was, there was dust everywhere and it drove me insane because I couldn't do anything about it because I didn't have the energy. So that, that was just awful to be in and I was so sad all the time, to be completely honest. And my back hurt <laughs> so much and I trapped out of my medicine one by one um, and... Now I'm not on that much med medication. I take some painkillers when I need to, but it's not on a regular basis at all anymore. So that's really nice to be able to say that I'm not on permanent uh, painkillers at the moment. Uh, and I sleep through the night, kind of. I'm very, I'm kind of stressed at the moment, so that's why I'm not sleeping through. The night, but usually I do, and I have not done that for years, years. It's amazing. It's truly amazing. It goes slowly but steady, and I'm really, really grateful 
um, for my people around me because if it hadn't been for my mom and my boyfriend, I have no idea what I would do because my mom stayed with me the week after my surgery when we were home and she took care of me and she cleaned and did our laundry and made dinner because my boyfriend, he was so tired because he works every day. I'm just really happy because this is before Christmas. Our family is coming, my boyfriend's parents and his siblings and uh, one of his siblings' uh, children is coming and I'm so excited to see them again. Um, and we're going to celebrate Christmas Eve and get getting presents and stuff like that. Um, this weekend and my hair is messed because I sleep in with a braid so this is my life right now. I'm just really really excited about it um, and we're celebrating Christmas here because of me because I need my bed if I need to um, sometimes to rest and I can't do that in Wales so they're coming to us and we bought this new big house and I'm so happy about it and we are insanely happy to stay here and we are fully out of our apartment. We don't have it anymore and yeah, I'm just really, really happy. Um, I'm, I'm still emotional about my surgery, um, as you may could tell, but I'm in such a better place and I feel like I have more energy to maintain my YouTube channel. My recovery is first priority but this is also a priority because I love it and I love talking to you guys and I have been here for like more than 20 minutes now and yeah my battery is dying so I if there's any questions of anything that I haven't mentioned or to anything I have mentioned mentioned please leave them down below because I don't have any more time to vlog so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this small update and until my next video, please take care and please comment down below if you have any questions.